able to both create original objects and import objects in the industry standard .sat file format. So this is an example of an object that was probably built initially in SOLIDWORKS that we brought into this world. And this is a fairly detailed model. We're going to turn on wireframe for you. You can see this is a heavy-duty CAD model. But we're able to work with it very naturally as a real space object. So we're able to grow and scale the object so we can grab it and make it larger, or we can move out and scale ourselves to the world differently. So now we're bigger and now it's bigger. And we're able to easily grab and manipulate objects. We're also able to grab the world, the interfaces, as if you're pulling space around you. So we're able to pull space, we're able to walk through space. And so this is kind of the basic navigation of how one functions and navigates through virtual space so this with alpha. Yeah, this is, a, you know, we could call it an early alpha. The capabilities that we're going to be crowdsourcing in the Kickstarter project are pretty crazy. We've got some far out capabilities, including um, multi-user. So you'll be able to collaborate with your friends to build virtual objects and to make virtual goods. We think that this is going to be an interesting application for breaking barriers to the creation of virtual goods for, for gaming, but also just for interacting with in these spaces and you and your friends can work on you know different parts of the world together at the same time. In terms of uh, meeting your friends in there, they, they'll appear as avatars. So you can imagine uh, a couple of tiny little avatars in the cockpit of that, uh, that mech bot there. Uh, pull in and watch them and they'll see you as a giant on the outside and you'll see them as tiny little avatars working on something on the inside, adding something to the, to the scene. So we're going to move straight to some different kinds of manipulation. So why don't we try the looking at the truck and maybe see what we can do with the wheels there. So, you know, Scott built this model of a truck earlier. And it looks like he's, is that a flat tire? He's got a flat. <laughs> so uh, what do you want to do with the flat tire? So we can take off our flat tire here. Let's just put it aside. Put a spare in the back. There. And we can use what we call frames. I can snap the frame on the axle here, and get it centered. And then I can take my frame, or my tire, and I can just snap it on the frame. And there we go. Truck's got a new tire. So we want to have a lot of precision capabilities so that you can create objects as you imagine them and uh, in particular for people who want to do what we we'll call precision modeling and 3D printing, it's going to be very useful for you to have precise alignment. And I think on this building we're going to do some more of this kind of precision snap and align. The freeform comes almost for free when you're immersed, but uh, precision requires some different kinds of techniques. And I want you to know, uh, John, that you're going to get a chance to, to play with this. Um, and then we've got kind of a special demo for you that we'll, we'll take you through. So what are you so going to do? Gonna, so we've got kind of our door here. It's all set up. So I'm going to snap this guy on. I'm going to crook it so I can reach in here. Grab Take it around. It's that way. You can see this is what we call porcupine, so it actually will snap, but I can get free movement in the middle as well. So let's snap that gun on. Good. And this had a cabin built in. So now I can take this object and I say I want to cut it into there. And cut. And if I delete this guy out of here, let's get the screen out of here. And you can see we've got our our entryway into our building now. So, so these basic manipulations of add and subtract are actually really powerful because it's add and subtract plus you can inherit the textures of the of the objects that you're manipulating. Um, indeed, the you know the imported objects act the same way. They too can be manipulated. 
So let's um, let's go back to the truck for a sec. And uh, you know, this is this truck is not glued together. It's uh, made of many separate components, so we can actually uh, pull components off and manipulate them uh, as well. So we show changing a tire, but we also have a hatch on the back. And the hatch can be replaced or placed aside. And so we're showing a little bit more of this kind of precision along the capability. You can see the, uh, the snap points understand the shape of the object and how to behave at the edges and vertices and so on. So, you know, that's kind of a basic tool. We, um, we could show you more, but I think it'd be fun um, if you'd like for you to give it a whirl. Do you want to, you want to try it?